<laughs> Choose your hero. An enemy mid hero having to go base at level three, especially Quap. Yeah. Oh. Ari, do they actually want to make a move here? You've got that ice armor coming through the chase down onto the Venge. He's already used it, but it looks like the damage is going to be off Ramsey's trying to chase him down. It's going to be Solo that picks it up here. Kasani with those dive bombing magpies trying to get one back onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's over committed. He's going to get another connection. He does. He gets a stun. A couple more right clicks. The blood right goes down. He's going to have to move himself back here. Ramsey's underneath the tier one tower, but the Beastmaster didn't want to commit too much further because he would have been taking tower shots. And Ramsey's, he's going to live to fight another day, even with these dive bombing magpies coming out. And Antares gets to kill onto white one in the bottom lane all right yeah and you can see that yeah the two kills coming out for nine pandas um tomorrow's still stacking up the last hits you know 28 on the sven so he was having a really good time compared to the 19 of ramses but magic missile they might be able to go into this ledge blood right's gonna go down i saw out now as well he just melts to the pressure coming out and ari will be able to get some revenge here in this lane I think that's the exact way to play this lane. You don't really want to go on Ramses. He has, he doesn't even have boots, has the chain mail, and you get four. It doesn't cancel the first <laughs> cast. It actually, you do get four. It's quite strong that's... as Beastmaster. Yeah, Kasani is going to try and get himself out of this, but it's going to be the Sinister Gaze drag back here. The damage coming through. They do get the magic missile, though, onto Ramses, and with those fatal bonds going, Ramses, is he going to be able to survive through this? He's getting pretty darn low, and it's going to be the Shadow Demon that cost him his life. White Mon does get it with fatal bonds, and now Antares, he's going to go down himself. Kasani only solo gets out alive, and maybe not even him, as Ari's going to get the chase on. Does he get himself out? Magic missile underneath the tower. Nope. He doesn't get that final last hit, so at least Bryal being pressured by Kiyotaka, but Kiyotaka um, taking a lot of damage. Oh, Sonic Wave! Oh, is it enough? It is! With just the, the tick on the Sonic Wave, he takes both on it. Um, what are you expecting in terms of rotations here? Do you want to see these mid laners, you know, trying to put pressure on other lanes? Or, because we've been seeing a lot of rotations from the support, so come back to that in a second here. If you look at Ramsey, he's going to be under pressure once again. And do they have the damage to take him down? They might be able to turn this one around, because there's going to be four heroes here. From the side of nine pandas, they get the kill upheaval. It's still going to be taken up by the magic Ooh. missile. Ramsey's, he went too far, and White Mon's going to be able to get the, uh, little... Minion kill, I don't remember what those things are called. From the uh from the imps, upheaval. Maybe? I'm not sure. Is it imps? Right click damage is not going to be too impactful early on. Azari. Does he get himself away? Since the gaze is gonna be used, but Brow's got that rotation out now as well. There's a sonic wave if he wants to throw it out. He doesn't even need it against the Lich. And Solo will go down. Kasani picks up another good kill here. Um and six to three for TSM, so nine pandas starting to suffer a little bit. Yeah. Very good rotation here. They bait with Ari. He gets level level six out of it, and now swap. Not not really that good this game, just because of the nature of rupture. As we do see Kyotaka going for a kill. Yeah, using that double damage rune to get it off. Rupture's going to come out into Kasane now. Can he get himself in a good position? Solar Guardians even going to be committed onto this one. They do get the kill onto the Beastmaster, and Mero. He just has a TP right back to his lane. So yeah, one. One thing here that I'm not entirely sure about Venge, that I'm trying to double check. Oh, wait a second, let's go Taka. Yeah, do they get the damage off onto Brawl? Brawl is going to be careful, he's going to be able to dodge off the power shot here. Sonic Wave comes through this time, it won't be enough, and Kyotaka will be able to back himself out solo, though. That Chain Frost doesn't actually bounce to anything, they do get to kill Antares, but the roar comes out. Are they going to be able to clean up both of these supports here? Antares will be the target. Oh, Kyotaka, he gets in, he gets a snatch, gets that region rune, gets himself out. Tomato gets a kill on Tomero, but it looks like are they done fighting in the mid lane? Solo will go down. Really good set of pickoffs here, it's going to cost him the Queen of Pain for the Sven at the minute. Yeah, smoke from nine pandas. Not. Oh, they're gonna find the Ramses so, Bloodseeker. Look at that damage coming out. Ramses, he just loses half his health instantly, and four heroes for TSN grouping up will be able to get that kill. All right. Yeah, Timado. It's, it's gonna be given over to the Beastmaster so he can get that quick kill on the Overlord. Timado's not gonna be happy about that. Okay, they will find Ramses, uh, Ryle. Shackle doesn't shield connect. Room. Rupture's gonna be there, though. Yeah, like you say, the, the shield room comes out. But Bryle's Sonic Wave gets committed. It looks like Kiyotaka dodges it off, and he's gonna be able to get the kill. Bryle will go down. Gives about six from gold out, but now they might be able to get the revenge kill onto the Wind Ranger. So the Guardian's gonna be using it. looks like the Wind Ranger's gonna go for the TP. Anything to stop this one. They're gonna drop the rock here, and the Chain Frost bouncing around. They've even got that God Strength coming through. Look at it. Right click, right click, right click. He gets the kill onto the Lich. Kiyotaka in that little pond, but it looks like that's where he's gonna give up his life. There's going to be the Storm Hammer coming out. Kasani gets the kill. Really good fight there for TSM. Once again, Tomato getting involved and he was able... Oh no, the stacks! Oh, did he get all of it? 
I am pretty sure he did. Yeah, he got a lot of that. He's going to be able to take it all down, it seems like. Answer that's his net worth. It's going to be jumping right up there here, but it might cost him his life. Disruption comes out, trying to survive for a little bit longer. But he is going to go down. Bryle picks up the kill eventually, but not after Antares gets in there and takes that ancient stack down. Yeah, I love it. I think it's going to be very, very good. Uh, gotta give it credit to the Shadow Demon as well. I feel like Antares did a lot of stacking as they oh, fight attack with the sun. Swap. They are going to try and get the Soul Guardian out to keep him alive here, but the chase is going to come out. It's going to be the stun coming through, but BKB here, Sonic Wave, it's going to be enough to get another kill into Kiyotaka. Magic Missile, it connects on the back lines of the Dawnbreaker. Tomato, he might be a little bit stuck. He's just waiting this one out. It's going to be the rupture on him, but he really isn't going to care about it as the rest of Nine Pandas trying to run himself away, but Briley's going to try and get himself in there. Do the damage. Antares going to get himself away. He cannot, as Ari does get that kill. Now the drive back onto Mero. Mero's got that hammer down, but it looks like they want to go for this tier one tower, and everybody's stacking up here. Yeah, TSM, that quick helm of the Overlord coming out here for the Beastmaster means that he can put this tower pressure on and there's nothing that Nine Pandas can do about it. They are just being... Didn't really have the chance to pull it back once it started going to SM's way. I think maybe a bit of miscommunication. Uh, we saw the 11 stacks. Oh, wait a second here. As they find Solo and he is going to die solo. Yeah. I, I think the big problem was Shadow Demon went for a lot of stacks. He had 11. And yeah. in a lot of those fights that uh, Nine Pandas tried to go on the Beast, Okay, and we'll see Bryle in the mid lane, still going towards, I mean, he's got that Sanji and Kai coming out for him there. Uh, really big on the extra damage, the survivability that's going to offer to the Queen of Pain. And then Co-op just straight in for the Ag Scepter. As he looks at, they might even find out Antares. And Antares, can he get himself away? The disruption is going to come out, it's going to be slowed down. Oh. And look at that, the damage coming through. White Mom with the Fatal Bonds gets the kill onto Antares. No way could he escape. And now even Kasane. And now... They're going to be able to, I, I assume they're going to be able to get the next two, two tier two towers after that. Crazy, huh? They, oh, wait a second. Oh, hey, jump in. Great storm hammer. The golem's going to be dropped now as well. The roar comes out. Sonic wave commits. There is going to be the chain frost bouncing around between the golem and the Sven. So the Sven, that's going to be the Aegis being popped and the chain frost. It carries on going here. They've got the glimmer cape trying to keep the warlock alive, chasing down onto white man. White man can he get himself away because Kasane, he is just cleaning up. You see the right clicks. Now the blade mail for Mero. He's trying to chase down, get that white man kill. Is it going to be enough with the star break? He does get it, but it will cost him his life. All five heroes dead on the side of nine pandas. TSM, they are just running this game the Beastmaster, like he's way more farmed than everyone else. Kiyotaka, he started his lane so well, but some of his deaths cost him a lot. Oh, they get the catch out once again. Rupture's gonna be there though, Solo Guardian coming out, but they should still get the kill. Kiyotaka, he's gonna try and get do his best to get himself away from this one. He does actually get himself Swap. out of the fight now. The damage is gonna be enough. He's trying to get the power shots from the high from the, the high ground, but the chase comes out. Oh, Ari, he's gonna be the next target. And look at this, Ramses, he wants to chase down. They get the kill into the Sven. Kind of get the kill into Kasani now as well. Ramses, he needs that gap closer. He needs a stun. He needs anything. And he just can't find a target. He's being kited to, to left, right, and center here. And Ramses, yeah, even trying to take down the ancient creep. He's good. Just barely going to be able to do it. But the amount of control coming out now. They can do it at range. And Ramses, he just cannot stick to a hero. It's going to cost him another four. It might even be five here. Solo is solo. But the damage coming through. The Queen of Pain will be able to take him down. By the way, after observing that fight, I'm struggling. Yeah. And that is going to be... I mean, it's the Ags upon Brile now as well. Rupture does come through. He's in the trees. Do they have any reveal on him? Because Brile is just going to take this tower down from the distance. Swap. The swap comes out. Ramsey, is he going to be controlled? Magic Missile has to pop the BKB. The roar! The roar comes out just as the BKB gets activated. So that's going to waste about half of his BKB time. And now Chain Frost trying to bounce around. But can Ramsey get his chase Mado. down as well? There's going to be the Gods trying to come in. They've got the right clicks down. They take down Ramsey. They're going to be able to go into Mero now. It's all Mero. He gets to TP out. Just burly out alive here with this God Strength going. You've got yourself this uh, Stone Golem coming through as well. Well, so it looks like they want to try and make something happen. It might be Tomato going towards the high ground in the top lane. Yeah, they're trying to force out two lanes at once. And they no, and it's just, yeah, it's absolutely running right. He did get a free lane effectively with all that aggression being shifted over to Ramsey's lane. And they're just going to get a shackle. A rack swap comes out now as well. Did he actually turn around onto the Stormhammer? It does connect. The Fatal Bond's doing damage now as well. Disruption. They're going to try and keep Mero alive for as long as possible. White right, Man, though, this Golem is actually going to be doing a lot of damage in solo. You can't be there. You're taking damage to Fatal Bond down. If you get another kill in solo, he might just be caught out. Ramsey's Sonic Wave is going to be pushing him back. They clean him up now as well. GG gets called. 27 minutes in, 35 to 10, and point close to being absolutely taken out and just deleted from the Bet Boom Dacha here. TSM, really clean game. Okay, so that's going to be the four, I do believe. 
All right, so he will TP there. A lot of physical damage coming from the boars, that Blightstone <laughs> and the Beastmaster hits. This should be a decent lane for TSM. I think Solo, even though usually you like having a melee offlaner, yeah, you just get taken down. That is ridiculous. Too many roots and slows. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous coming through. And like you say, the Blightstone boost onto the right clicks as well. Having to move himself back. He's got that regen coming through from the tower as well as his own salve. In the mid lane, though, Bryle is being punished a little bit. But we did see Bryle punished in the last game. Solo, he gets his revenge instantly onto Ari, though. All right. I love the hawk with the little hat, though. <laughs> you can end up killing yourself to that sky. Yeah, and how is Ramsey's doing in terms of farm? He's actually not doing... Oh, no, there's going to be the TP into the mid lane before the level 6 here. So Kyo Takari gets tossed back, and that's going to be a really nice introduction into the mid lane from Ari. Just saying, yeah, don't forget, I am here. I have the TPs, I have the sprouts. And, he and if there's one thing Storm hates is being ganked before level 6, yeah. guess what? And he can do that the entire laning stage. As Antares here, low, but... Oh, gets Glimpse back. back. Yeah, and Tomato, is he going to be able to take advantage of this one? He's going to be slowed right down. Ramses gets the kill onto Ari on the other lane, oh. but Tomato, using those one charges, gets himself back to pretty much full health. And, uh, it, well, he still takes a punishment after that one. Kassan on this top lane as well. He's just throwing the hawk around. And it is so... The bed with, like, the little... Uh, the, the bobble on the end of it there, too. That's what that uh -huh. party hat looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Nope. As Kasane here gets stunned. A lot of damage. They do get a kill on the other side. Look at this. Uh, Kasane's just wasting a load of time. Solo's taking tower shots now as well. Kasane, can he uh, just outweigh this one, Ramsey? He's trying to do his best. And Tomato gets a kill on Tomero. And back to the top lane. It looks like, in fact, Kasane is going to wait for this TP. And it's coming from Ari now as well. The Sprout comes out. A couple more right click. He's oh, going to be able to no. take him down. No way. The Axe is even doing a little bit of damage. But Ari gets himself another kill on the board. I mean, that's why NP is also very often first phase banned. Yep, and Tomato. Tomato, does he get himself yeah. away? He does get himself back and just barely hanging on. Level 4, so he doesn't have the regen coming in. They have a toss in the mid lane onto Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka now again, once again, the TP comes in. Do they have the damage? One more right click. It's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, Kiyotaka, I see the idea. I get it. I get it. But the, just, the right click damage, it was stacking up and up and up. And no way for him to live through that. Another attempt stop. Blood grenade. Did he get this kill? Kasani forced no right back. No acid spray, though. Yeah. And, I mean, he was close to his tier 1 anyway, and now Solo's going to be in trouble. The glimpse comes through as well. There's going to be Ari. He does this on foot, and they're going to be able to get another kill onto Solo. 8-2 to two in the first 6 minutes of the game here. Just <laughs> yoink more kills for TSM. Yeah, and that kill doesn't get easier the more items that Kasane has. And now they're going to be able to go in and toss. He's only level 5 still here on the Storm. Toss back. And they should be able to get another kill out. There's going to be a little bit of damage coming through from the side of 9 Pandas. Oh, the sleep, no. the 3-man sleep as well. But Bryle, can he get himself out of this one? The glimpse and it takes away the aggro here. Even Bryle will survive. Has that bottle and the tier 1 tower takes a lot of punishment in the meantime. So Brew is at 0 and 2, unable to... Even click creeps, and yeah. uh, he's ahead of Kiyotaka right and now. Oh, and Ari gets the wisdom room. Yep. Dude, this is this is actually out of control. We, we were talking about Sven being a problem, estimado. He's going to get gone on now as well. The Storm Spirit going to try and commit all of his mana to get to kill. He does in the end with the remnant damage, but it's going to be a long walk back to the lane here. In maybe? fact, he gets Lynch back in. Does he get himself out of this one? The Avatos comes through, and this is going to be another death. Kiyotaka, one more right click from anybody in Braille. He's going to be able to take him down. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, at least the Stark was in level 6, so I, I get the idea with the rotation. Plus and P is such a deadly combination for Storm. Mm -hmm. You have the global capabilities, you're going to abuse the lack of mana, as Miero, only level 4, should fall here. He is dead to the toss on Bryle here, and it's going to make him just Bryle getting the tosses off onto pretty much everybody. He's, you know, tossing and getting the kills, and there's nothing that Nine Pandas can do to stand up to it. Doesn't seem it now. Look at this. Ari shows on the bottom lane and just keeps himself right up to the top lane. The Hawk coming in, getting the dive, getting the aggression onto Ramses, and Ramses, Acid Spray is down. He's taking he a whole no lot of damage. Yeah, dead. no, he's straight up dead here. One more right click, and they're saving it for the Hawk, it seems like. And Ari, what's Ari on in terms of kills? Because well, he must be close. Yeah, five kills and six assists. He's been involved in nearly every single kill here on the side of TSM levels because all of the heroes now getting up close to those ultimates. Kasane is out of mana, but Acid Spray into the Unstable Concoction. He's going to be jumping as well from Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka is going to be able to get himself on the board. Kasane, it's going to take a decent amount of time to get the kill. They do finally get him, but Ari on the bottom lane gets another kill onto the Brewmaster. And this is going to be four heroes stacking up for that kill on Kasane, a solo kill on Kasane. And meanwhile, it gives so much time to TSM. Yeah. I mean, it's still, I guess, 
no way for Kiyotaka to get. It's so easy now for Bright to set up those Eva tosses as he's actually going for the sky a little bit deep here. Did they actually get Brial here? There is going to be that shield rune still on him, so he's not even taking health damage. And now, Kiyotaka, he's going to use all of his mana just to get, try and get on top of Ari. Ari's going to be a lot of gold that he gives up here. It is going to be about 600 gold, 700 gold, but they're going to be able to get the kill into Kiyotaka after the fact. And Brial, he's just waiting. Glimpse comes back. They might even be able to take down the Scarath Mage after this now as well. Brial, does he have that toss? Anything to throw forwards? He does. He oh. throws a Disruptor and the Disruptor. One more right click. Is it going to be enough? He breaks the vision, though, here. Scarath Mage behind the trees. And it was close, but close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, which you do throw out, but Scarath Mage, uh, fortunately for him, Disruptor is neither. And Ramsey's he's gonna sell uh, stone. Killing her, he's killing himself. Right, Kasani gets the credit for that now as well. And now Kiyotaka back lines, get, it, get the dive. Ari is gonna go down again. Kiyotaka again, committing all of the mana from this. His stomp's gonna be there, and it looks like the Nature's Prophet. He could be in trouble. Scarlet's Mage rotating in, but Prowl's gonna be there for the backup. Does he get the Avalanche off? It's not gonna be in time to save Ari, but it might be in time to get the kill onto Kiyotaka, and still those Hawks go. They dive, and Kiyotaka, he's using the last of his mana to get away the axes. It's not gonna be enough. The stomp, it stops him in the tracks, but the glimpse back, White Mon, he does get the kill onto Kiyotaka, and now the Avalanche was that toss solo, trying to get himself away from this one. He will not be able to leave. They just drag him right back in. He is dead. Sorry, keep me that one. Uh, I don't know. Giggles, I guess. Is this a uh, bait, dude? I guess. Uh, yes. this is some 40 chess. I do not comprehend. He's dead. Yeah, he does finally fall. Don't know. Don't know, mate. He just kept hold of it for, like I say, just a bit of a giggle. Stupendous. Okay. Okay. Uh, getting back here with our. Broadcast, Bryo already has that blink dagger, looking for Ramses. No way, it's gonna be the three-man stack here. Mystic Flirt comes out, he's already gonna be away from it. He gets the kill onto the Scarath Mage, and there's gonna be the roar as well. Did he get the kill onto Kiyotaka? Kiyotaka gonna have to use all of his mana to get himself away from this one. And now they change targets onto Ramses, just when he thought he was out, they drag him right back in, and he is gonna be killed off now. It looks like they might get the kill onto Kasani as revenge, but TSM gonna be more than happy with this one. And while that's going on, you've got Tomato. We keep forgetting about Tomato as he just continues his farm up here on the bottom lane. Make this happen 15 seconds. Is there going to be the TP as well from the Nature's Prophet? Brow actually steps himself up. Solo's going to get caught out. Drums gets popped, but there's going to be the silence onto the tiny here now as well. White Mon, he throws out that static storm connected field. Glimpse comes back, so he's going to be able to drag that one away here. Whereas Ari is going to be throwing out the Nature's Wrath, and it looks like they're going to try and fight around this one, but the runes do spawn. Earth Split is going to be used here. Did they get the kill to Brow? Brow is really darn low. He gets killed off by Solo in the end, and it looks like Ari, he didn't actually go for the snatch. So, yeah, Anthres going to be able to pick up that one wisdom rune. Oh, wait, no, did he? Five, there you go. That's a 1% increase right there. <laughs> Kasane. They might not be done just yet. Yeah, well, the roar comes through. I think they'll be able to get this damage off. There's going to be the runaway here from Kasane. Chase right in Kiyotaka. There's going to be the roar of beta coming out from Rari. Do they get the kill? They do still take him down on Kiyotaka. Well, nine pandas showing signs of life. It, honestly, like Kiyotaka was throwing his body so much here against the SM that I was very scared for him. Yeah, look but, at this. Yeah, Timado, as we said. He's been slowly but surely becoming a very scary fish. Oh, good glimpse. Does he get the damage off? There's going to be the Static Storm, so it's going to stop the splits. Tomato, though, can he actually get the damages? There's going to be the Sprout coming through, and Ari. Yeah, of course it's Ari that gets the kill. So strong, but because they have the Storm, because they have this Burst Damage Heroes, even the Blink that eventually will be picked up on Ramses, you can die a lot as well. So yeah. feeding that Network away can become your own nemesis oh. as Kasane. It's going to be the Mystic Flur coming out here as well onto the Beastmaster. Beastmaster can he survive through this one. The Spirit Vessel he gets the roar off before he does go down. They get the kill onto the Scarath Mage. Glimpse back now as well. Kiyotak is going to be rooted to the spot. No and the mana. Sprout comes out after the fact. And the split here from the Panda. Do they get enough to get the kill onto the Disruptor? Disruptor's trying to run himself away from this one. The split it unsplits himself. And now he's caught in the Sprout. There's going to be enough heroes here to get the kill onto the Pandalin. And Mero, he is probably going to be regretting that. And he's just no way he gets himself away. And of course, Ari gets himself a double kill from this one and picking up he's already got the point boost he's gonna be going towards the Ags has to be going for his aggressive moves you need to look for people away from the tier 1 tower it's just too easy for TSM to assist as Bryo Dive deep, good glimpse. Well, a really good glimpse into the status storm. Rodovatos now as well. Tomato even going to get involved. Oh, the There's going to be the sprout preventing. coming out. It doesn't matter. Tomato gets himself in there because he does have a way in with that pounce. He just closes the gap. They get another kill onto Kiyotaka. All right, it's gonna be on. And the uh, experience, I think most of that gold is only the alchemist, right? Yeah. He, 
he will need to play flawlessly for the next 15 minutes as Ramses, and at least, you know, starts getting a kill Ooh, here. Through the twin gate, though, they want to get aggressive here. They might even be able to find out Ramses. The rogue comes through onto the Scarus mage. We have the damage to take him down here, because Scarus really not that tanky at all, and they even take down Solo. Looks like Ramses in the trees. Did he cancel his TP? No, he didn't cancel his TP. Timado, but the he gets Timado it! Timado cancels the TP, and now the Sprout is out, and it looks like this is going to be Ramses taking another whole load of hurt here. As TSM, they do lose the Disruptor, but they get three. Hell, you look at Briley, he's getting aggressive. They might even be able to get some more. The Sprout comes out. There's not going to be a Rod of Atos keeping him locked down, but Kiyotaka has to just jump around for his life. Spirit Vessel, you've got the split out into Mero now as well. They might be able to get the kill into Briley. Briley's a big tanky boy. Do they have enough to get through that shell? And the rest of the rocks as well. But oh! before he kills off Kiyotaka, and he just stands there, says, Job's done. You do your worst. Mero in the Sprout. Connecting Field comes out now, and they've got the damage to take down Mero as well, because that Sprout is already gone. They should be able to chase him down yet. Yeah, tomorrow with the Pounces. And he's just trying to run for his life. He has Mero. Sprout comes out once more. Tomorrow's going to miss with the pounce, but he's still going to be chased down. He's trying to use that spirit vessel to keep himself alive. And Solo gets a kill into White Money. He goes a little bit too far. No way Mero gets out of this one. He's going to be able to sit in, into the trees and getting that TP away as Kasani takes down Antares. Heroes, uh, they have the Aegis. They have the control of the map. Outer towers are falling. The triangle is going to be taken away. <sighs> Even though. We have a map now that kind of allows heroes like Kiao. Oh, oh, wait a second. Damn, they just get another pounce on. Yeah, the toss comes through, and he's going to be tossed in the bin. Kiyotaka, it, it's just not having a good time. I can't check his stats to see how much done, but it just forced out his BKB, his ultimate, um, you know, running away with the unstable concoction going on. Ramsey's just feels like, even though he's top of the net worth, just cannot have an impact in this in these fights. And look at this now as well. Browse just going to be jumping in. He's going to be Star stuff. He's going to be the Rodovators coming out now as well. Mystic Flow, they do get the kill into Bryle. So maybe an overextension there from the Tiny. We're taking all your towers as well. Well, there's still a tier two tower on the top lane, but Ari probably going to make quick work of this. And yeah, he is just, he's been a beast in this game. And did he actually want to make a move? Kiyotaka's going to try and come in with that Rod of Atos. Does he want to try and get himself out of this now as well? You have Solo backing Kiyotaka up. Even Ramsey's getting involved. They need this kill. And it's going to be a good amount of gold. Giving it over to Ramsey's here as well. So maybe they want to twin gate this one. Do they want to fight? Yeah, TSM. They're going to have more than two, three teammates here. Taka. Kiyotaka in trouble. The pounds comes through. They're going to have the roll. They're going to have the lockdown. They're going to have the kill. And Kiyotaka once again will fall. Yeah. Uh, if they're going to win here on 9 Pandas, it's going to be uh, out of some insane five-man concoctions that I'm not even <laughs> sure how you pull off because there's no vacuum. Uh, Brawl this time, he does have the BKB, the toss comes back solo, he's trying to get himself away, but the Rod of Atos comes out, there's the Sprout, there's the damage, there's the kill, and Brawl will pick it up and then have a nice nap afterwards, and Kasani's going to try and get in, get, get the Roth, they don't, the split will come through, Mystic Flare onto the Beastmaster, the Beastmaster though, going to be pushed out with the Sprout as well, there's a connect field coming through here, so they have that protection, can they get the kill onto Ramses? Ramses is going to get really darn low, and it looks like they do get the kill onto Kasani, but Tomato, he's trying to do his best, he's getting these right clicks off again. And another kinetic field coming through. Do they have the catch? Do they have enough? The self stun onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's has nowhere to throw it. And now Tomato, oh, he no. pops his BKB. He's going to pounce in. Backlines Bryle. He wants to get this kill onto Antares. Onto that Scarath Mage here. And you can see that Ramsey's going to be able to take down Whitemon. Antares is going to survive for a little bit longer. But the chase down. It looks like Solo. Tomato, can he live through this one? He's got that Shadow Dance going. He wants to kill. And the toss comes through. So it will finally be confirmed. And now Tomato, he can get that leap away. The TP away. But no. Tiny's going to cancel it there. And Ari wants to carry on going here. Ramsey's, he might be out of his ultimate. The pounce comes right back in. Tomato, he was out in the shadows for a couple of seconds. He gets his health all the way back. Mero, Antares is going to get pretty down low. The toss comes through into the pounce. This is going to be a really good one two punch here. Just, just knock Mero on his ass. And Tiny will go down eventually. Brial, oh, Mero, he gets a hand of minus off before he goes down. But he will eventually go down. Problem with the Gleipnir there as Nine Pandas will slowly try and get control over the rush side. Still a minute for the spawn, so... Okay, Good nice. jump in. What can he do here? Antares, one more right click. Is he going to go down? Glimmer KP keeps him alive. They've got Mero in the Static Storm. The roar comes out after the fact. So if they can kill him before the split, the Earth Splitter will be used, but not the Panda Split. And now they get the drive back on Solo. Solo, there is going to be that Gletney being thrown out. They should get the kill. I think the Hawk was thrown up by the Tiny when it was in mid-dive, but they do stand. The, the trains do what they can and back themselves out to Roche, but... Yeah, if they get another fight like that, they can definitely break that base. Oh, there's going to be the jump out onto Bryle, though. Bryle, does he want to try and use his... I don't even know if he's got his BKB. He doesn't have the next 14 seconds. So this might be where they try and find something in 9 pounds. They do get the kill. And it will, looks like the split is going to be used now as well. So... Static Storm. Did he want to try and throw that one out? They're going to save it now. Kinetic Field. It looks like Kasane. He's going to go for the TP. He gets out. No way. And well, they hard. got that Hurricane coming through. Tomato uses his own BKB. Can he get himself away from this one? He's going to be able to dive himself out. TP comes through. And yeah, no way to cancel that one. Everybody but Brial gets out alive. Good fight for Nine Pandas, but it means... Nine Pandas trying to figure out if TSM already joined the pit, but... 
they don't really have the best Roche lineup on TSM. Slark, not known for being really good at that. Oh, as the pounce. Find Kiyotaka. Do they have enough damage to get the kill off now as well? They do. They have the control. Static Storm, it was coming out after the fact, but the roll now onto Ramses, and Ramses, can he get through him? Ramses, he does have that Radiance going, so there's going to be the mischance there, but the damage coming through, he has to pop his BKB core in he's the spell. Back lines, you've got Brawl, he is hunted onto that Scarath Mage again on Ramses. He's going to be 1v4. He's going to try and get himself away from this one. He might just go for the self stun. He throws it out onto Ari, but it's going to be recast right back at him, and it might be enough damage to get the kill onto him. When they drag back with the Disruptor, he does glimpse him out solo. Going to try and go for that TP. Mero is going to be on top of the cliff. Brawl, does he? No, he blinks over him. He blinks over him and can't land the stun, but they still take three heroes, nine pandas. They are st Base defense for nine pandas. It's just the, the solo needs to, like, get some godly echo stomps. Yeah, well, they're going to be able to get the jump in now as well. Mero, do they have the lockdown to stop that split coming out? The stomp, the silence is low. So it's going to be the vortex drag back onto the Slark. And again, Slark still has the oh! Aegis. He just disappears. Okay. That armor reduction from solo. But can he get himself out of this one now? He's trying to go out. Tomato taking a lot of damage. There's going to be the Shadow Dance. The roar comes through. He's actually going to try and turn onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's forced up to the high ground now. And Tomato, he's got that Shadow Dance. He's got the Depth Shard to come through now as well. Static Storm into the Kinetic Field. They've got the lockdown onto two or three heroes. Going to get the kill onto Mero. Mero trying to run himself away from this one. He's going to be unsplit. And now with the stun out, they're going to be able to get themselves on top of Ari. Did he get the kill onto Kasani now as well? Ari and Kasani have gone down. Can they get any more from this Nine Pounders? Brian with the TP out. Do they have the disruption? They don't. They have no way to stop that. They do lose two on the side of um, TSM. Here and bought the bought out for the Scotty. Okay, that's that's big because that's all you know. His buyback goal now is all Ramsey's. Um, doesn't have it on the board still for another two thousand gold. They're gonna be able to get the D-Ward. Brawl jumps Bio. himself in. The toss comes out. Do they have the control? There's gonna be the static storm, but he's got himself in this. this. Caught in the kinetic field though. Yeah, and there's gonna be enough damage. Tomato gets the kill. And in fact, he might be able to get himself over onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's can he reply to this one? The right click's coming through here. Ramsey's he's trying to hold that BKB for a little bit longer. He's got the abyssal blade if he needs it, but the Scott call coming well. through. Kinetic field. He pops that BKB eventually. Now the sprout comes oh. out. He's gonna try and go for the TP. And now the four star four. Do they have anything to stop this? They don't. But he still get the kill. They force out a BKB. Uh, they get the kill onto Mero, and he might be able to force a little bit of high ground damage out here too. Man, that Sprout is just breaki breaking Ramsey's ankles. This is the <laughs> second one that's costly. He's Brewmaster. Taking this fight is probably suicide if you're a 9 damage. Well, they're going to try. Kiyotaka dives in. Lotus Orb is there, though. So they do take down the tier 3 tower. Brawl jumps in. He finds oh, Ramses. Okay. Ramses doesn't have his BKB. Tomato, can they do the damage? You're going to have the lockdown even through the Abyssal Blade. It doesn't matter. Ramses is dead for 84 seconds. Screw the racks. Just go tier 4s. They get the lockdown on to Solo. And Solo buys himself back into this one. Kiyotaka trying to do the best to waste as much time as possible. Mero's back up in 9 seconds. They're just looking for all three tier 3 towers here. Maybe even Mega Creeps from this as well. That positioning from Ramses was way too bold. He knew he had no buyback, he knew he had no BKB. Oh, he just lost back Bryo. Such a good performance from him. And yeah, the buyback comes out now as well. Bryo's gonna be caught out. Mystic Flood does get dropped on him, so they get the kill onto the Tiny. The Tiny, though, has that buyback if things start getting hurry for him. Ari pops his own BKB. And it isn't gonna be enough here, because Tomato's like, you know what, I'm gonna come right back in. I know you've just bought back, and I wanna punish you for it. And they, they, they want this last Rax. They want the Mega Creeps coming out here. Kasane, even if it costs him his life, he's gonna use the Black Dragon to get it. Pops his own BKB. The Static Storm, the Lockdown with the Kinetic Field. Do they have this one? This is gonna be the dieback on Kiyotaka. GG, he just calls it. They know there's no way out of it, and it is going to be nine pandas being knocked up by TSM in two games. I know I said TSM was lightly favored, but the way they were able to win these two games was they got demolished in both side lanes both times. Uh, their decision making in this game was a bit better than game one.